Good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this truth. All praises to the Most High, through our Savior's name. Let's get our sword out the mud. Brothers and sisters, let's get into some iron sharpening. My dear brothers and sisters, let's get into some sword sharpening. Through the Spirit of the Most High, through our Savior, all praises. To the most high through our Savior. Let's get into the book of Numbers and um, let's get into some understanding, let's get into some clarity on um, the reason why the most high. Had the Most High's anger was aroused at Balaam. So let's get into some clarity and some comprehension. All praises to the Most High through our Savior. And um, we we in uh, the Book of Numbers chapter. We're gonna start at chapter twenty-two. Verse. We're going we're going to just we're going we're going to start at the top. Numbers chapter 22 verse 1. Then the children of Israel moved and camped in the plains of Moab on the side of the Jordan across from Jericho. Now Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites, and Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel. So Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now this company will lick up everything around us as an ox licks up the grass of the field. And Balak the son of Zippor was king of the Moabites at that time. So we got Moab saying to the elders of Midian about Israel. Man, they gonna come and just, you know, take just just absorb up everything. You know, they said, he said, now this company will lick up everything around us as an ox licks up the grass of the field. So that's what Moab was telling the elders of Midian about the children of Israel. He said, man, they're going to. They, <laughs> they're going to clean the plate. All right. So let's go to, let's get back to this read. Verse five. Then he sent messengers to Balaam, the son of Beor, at Pethor, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people, to call him saying, look, a people has come from Egypt. See, they cover the face of the earth and are settling next to me. Therefore, 
please come at once. Curse this people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. My dear brothers and sisters. So Balak, the son of Zippor, sent messengers to Balaam. My dear brothers and sisters. Okay. Let's get back to this read. Verse 7. So the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the diviner's feet in their hand. And they came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak. And he said to them, Lodge here tonight, and I will bring back word to you. As the Most High speaks to me, so the princes of Moab stayed with Balaam. Then the Most High came to Balaam and said, Who are these men with you? So Balaam said to the Most High, Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has sent to me saying, Look, a people has come out of Egypt and they cover the face of the earth. Come now, curse them for me. Perhaps I shall be able to overpower them and drive them out. And the Most High said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. And you know, you hear that teaching on the street. You hear that teaching on the street on... uh. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. And then if you continue to read through verse 28, when our Savior says, O woman, great is your faith, let it be to you as you desire. They say, you hear the teaching saying, oh, they just blessed a woman. They just blessed her daughter, but she didn't get salvation. But right here, we go to Numbers chapter 22, verse 12. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. So, dear brothers and sisters, we must comprehend. We must comprehend. Through faith, our Savior is going to bless you. Through faith, you will get good blessings from the Most High through our Savior. Good blessings is salvation. The Most High don't say in the Bible... Oh, y'all being rebellious. I'm going to bless you. No. So the woman showed great faith to our Savior in Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. And in return, she was blessed. Because she had great faith in our Savior. My dear brothers and sisters. 
my dear brothers and sisters. So let's get back to this read. Let's get back to this read. Let's go back to Numbers chapter 22. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to read back at 11. It says, look, a people has come out of Egypt and they cover the face of the earth. Come now, curse them for me. Perhaps I shall be able to overpower them and drive them out. So that is what the messengers from the king of Moab told Balaam. So Balaam's telling the most high this, right? But these people, like the most high says, as we go to verse 12, and the most high said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people for they are blessed. But as we see Moab, he's trying to get Balaam to get help from the Most High. To curse the Most High's people. So that he can. Um, so he won't be overpowered. My dear brothers and sisters. Verse 13. Let's get back to this read. So Balaam rose in the morning and said to the prince of Balak. Go back to your land for the Most High has refused to give me permission to go with you. And the princes of Moab rose and went to Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. Then Balak again sent princes more numerous and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him. Now, as we see, Balak. You know, trying to entice Balaam by sending him Then Balak again sent princes more numerous and more honorable than they. So Balak trying to you know, he's sending his best out there to convince. Balaam to go against the most high. My dear brothers and sisters. Trying to flatter Balaam. That's what Balak. That's what uh, Balak trying to do. He trying to, you know, he trying to flatter Balaam. We got to be aware of the flattery of the world, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's get back to this read. Verse sixteen. And they came to Balaam and said to him, "Thus says Balak, the son of Zippor: Please let nothing hinder you from coming to me." Let me run that back. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus says Balak, the son of Zippor, Please let nothing hinder you from coming to me. They begging. They thirsty. You leave the world thirsty to try to get you to walk out of the way you should walk with the Most High. The world real thirsty. As soon as you're trying to do right, Soon as you, you know what I mean? The test is coming. Just like in the streets. You want to be a part of the streets, man. You want to, you know, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I was born in 83. You hear me? So, you know, you had to put in work. You had to get tested to see, see what it is. We don't want nobody to look warm. That's how the, where you think that, 
That affiliation came from that idea. That came from the most high. Just like when you go get a job, they test you. They test you on these jobs, man. But that's what the interview is for. An interview. I-N-N-E-R. V-I-E-W. The interview. To interview. My dear brothers and sisters. So, you know, now you're going to get tested. That's just that's just the facts of life. You're going to get tested. So what, what, what does that mean if we know we're going to get tested? That means we must study and be diligent with our study and be disciplined with our study. My dear brothers and sisters. So yes, it's going to come these tests in, in these forms. And, and it's just war with the flesh. These tests is just war with the flesh, my dear brothers and sisters. You know, they say, y'all, you got to know who you are. Well, the only way to know who you are is obeying the most high. That's who you are. Where are you from? I'm from obedience of the most high. That's where I'm from. Hey, you, you from there too? Is that where you going? Hey, because that's where I'm from. That's what I represent. My dear brothers and sisters. Let's get back to this read. Verse 17. For I will certain, certainly honor you greatly and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, please come curse this people for me. For I will certainly honor you greatly and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, Please come curse this people for me. Begging. Begging. Can you please? Oh, oh, can you please face? You feel me? Come on, man. Come on, man. We don't know, brothers and sisters. We must learn. We must learn. And what we do is we learn. We learn that the we do not go astray. And do not be deceived by flattery. So we learn from the rebelliousness, the naiveness, the undisciplined. From those of our ancestors. Let's get back to this read. Verse 17, I'm running back. For I will certainly honor you greatly and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, please come curse this people for me. Then Balaam answered and said to the servants of Balak, though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word of the most high, my father, to do less or more. So Balaam answered correct. You know, he, 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 let's run back his speech again. Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word of the Most High, my Father, to do less or more. So Balaam answered and saying to the servants of Balak. You know, Block, if, if he were to give me everything, house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word. So I can't take no bribes. Even if you were to give me all this stuff, I'm still going to tell you no. 
I ain't about to do that. I ain't about to, I ain't about to go against the most high. So let's get back to this read. Verse 19. Now, therefore, please, you also stay here tonight that I may know what more the most high will say to me. Now, that's what made the most high angry. The most high already told Balaam what the situation is. He already told him. What did he tell Balaam? Numbers 22, verse 12. And the Most High said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people. For they are blessed. The Most High said, I'm not about to tell you again. I've already told you what it is. I'm not about, I'm not about to double back. Didn't I say that they were blessed? Then that's what it is. So Balaam should not back. He shouldn't, he, he should have just told the servants of Balak right there in verse 18, chapter 22, verse eight, verse 18 to kick rocks. Should have just stood on that. Hey, quit it. Come back around here again with them questions trying to get me to it's gonna be a problem. Put these hands on you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you feel me? The, hey, didn't, didn't I tell you? No. My dear brothers and sisters, so let's get back to this read. And the Most High came to Balaam at night and said to him, if the men come to call you, rise and go with them, but only the word which I speak to you that you shall do. So Balaam rose in the morning, saddled his donkey and went with the princes of Moab. Then the Most High's anger was aroused because he went. And the angel of the Most High took his hand in the way as an adversary against him. And he was riding on his donkey. And his two servants were with him. So, as we go to verse 20, the Most High came to Balaam at night and said to him, if the men come to you, if the men come to call you, rise and go with them. But only the word which I speak to you that you shall do. So let's get some precepts. See, the Most High already told Balaam what it is. Right. With with these people, with these with, with Israel already told Balaam what it is. So Balaam. See, he's seeking in his heart. The most high seeking in, 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 in Balaam's heart. Show him. See, look. Balaam stood on that. You know, it's like, OK, let's say if you let's say your. Uh, let's say your parents, your mom or your father say you can't go. To your friend's house. So you go. So. Um, you tell your friend. No I can't. I can't go over my friend's house today. I can't go over your house today. So your friend goes. And go. Gets his mom. Has his mom come and ask. Like hey is it okay. So right then. You know your mom's probably are. The mom's and pops probably are going to be a little offended. Okay. Just on the strength is the fact that. You told your child to tell them not today. Not today. Okay. So. The child tells his friend. Your child tells his friend. And then his friend go tells his mom to come back and knock on your door and say like, is it okay? So. Your parents will feel some type of way about that. Your, 
So your parents is like, all right, you can go. Okay, you can go. But right, your parents already told you you couldn't go. So therefore, you know, even if you went, when you go, you're like, all right, I'm gonna go. You know, you gonna be the 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 parents is gonna is is as a parent, you're gonna feel just a little. You, you're not gonna feel. You know, that. Your word is being respected to a certain extent because you said to your child at first, no, you cannot go nowhere today. But then your friend, your, your child goes and tells your friend that then your friend goes. And 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 and, and, and uh, gets his mom, his mom tells him to come out. So your, your child goes. And gets you. And tells you, hey, you know, she's outside. Can you know what I mean? After on top of your mom, then already told you, no. My dear brothers and sisters. So just to kind of get some clarity, it's like you can't, you know, or like uh, there's been plenty of times where your mom already told you or your dad already told you no. And then you come back and ask again. And then, and then your mom might be like, don't ask me no more, right? Or your mom or your pops might be like, yeah, go ahead. And then you go and do it. But really, your parents was testing you. They told you before, no, we don't want you to um, um, go next door of your friend's house because, um, let's say, you know, there's, um, there's no guidance over there. There's no, you know, so you tell me, you, so with that being said, Balaam got the straight information from the most high, the most high told Balaam, no, do not curse these people. These people are blessed. Okay. So let's go back to the story about the parent and the child. So the parents telling the child, same story, parent telling the child before all of this happened, no, why don't you going over your friend's house? Because there ain't no guidance over there. Right? I don't want you going over there. So then the kid in return goes and gets his your 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 child goes in return, uh tells his friend, his friend go gets his mom. But remember though, there's no parental guidance there. But now, out of the blue, it is. So they go get their mom. But at the end of the day, you're not really saying the fact that the parental guidance as far as the mom is not there. The mom is not there spiritually. But see, the child can't comprehend that. But I'm just trying to just give y'all just a, 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 just a little um, example. You know, it's the, it's, 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 it was a test. You know, the most high already told Balaam, do not curse these people. They are blessed. So that's already should be in Balaam. It's just, there's no double backing just to go make sure. And you got to think of it too. Balaam was after, it was after the money because of how greatly he was going to be blessed. My dear brothers and sisters. Because of how greatly he was going to be blessed. So, he, he, you know, he was looking at the materialistic value, just like Jahazi. Just like Jahazi, my dear brothers and sisters. If we go to the book of Jude, chapter one, verse 11. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, have run greedily in the air of Balaam for profit and perished in the rebellion of Korah. My dear brothers and sisters, 
let's go to the um book of Let's go to Psalms chapter 106, verse 15. Matter of fact, Psalms 106, verse 13. Psalms 106, verse 13. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tested the most high in the desert and he gave them their request but sent leanness into their soul my dear brothers and sisters let's go to um we're going to still stay in psalms let's go to chapter 81 verse Psalms 81 verse 12. No, 81 verse 11. Psalms 81 verse 11. But my people would not heed my voice and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. My dear brothers and sisters, but my people would not heed my voice and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. My dear brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, do not be deceived. Come from the world, my dear brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, do not suppress the truth. When, when, um, we shed this light. Share the truth and righteousness and do not suppress any truth, my dear brothers and sisters. No self-gaining, no no. Self-seeking, no self-serving, my dear brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, I love you. Stay prayerful and keep your lamps filled with light.